All right, people. It is a humid, humid day in New York City. It is. Look at look at my boyfriend glist, just glistening. <laughs> my pimples are out. I didn't feel like putting on makeup because it's so hot today. We are shooting the pizza showdown. We are going to four locations uh, across New York City, all of which serve vegan pizza, and we're gonna end the debate. Who has the best vegan pizza in New York City? The first place we're going is Pizzeria Suprema. I have never been there before. Uh, so it's one of the only places that I've never been to before uh, that serve pizza in New York City. And yeah, I wanted to make this video kind of interesting and include some facts about each pizza spot. I think there's something on the camera lens. It's like a little, little dandruff or something. Meh. Okay, hi. <laughs> I wanted to make this video a little bit interesting and include some facts about each pizza place before we get there. I pulled up their uh, little website. New York Pizza Suprema was established in 1964, which means I think it's the oldest place we're going to by an Italian immigrant. It was there before Madison Square Garden, and they used to sell pizza by the slice for five cents. And when they tried to raise the price, there was a student like riot outside and they got media attention and that's how they got famous. The end. Madison Square Garden, New York City, sweaty man. Watch out. Trash juice. Trash juice? Does it look familiar to you? What? A yes! Oh my god, okay, do you want to see something funny? One time I tried to jump over one of these, and now I have a permanent scar from it. Meanwhile, he could jump over it with like no problem, which made me think I could do it. Guys, we found it, we found it, it's right there. So we have a veggie medley, whole wheat pizza, no that's not vegan, vegan veggie grandma and vegan margarita. I think we're going to get one of each. So we have veggie medley, this one's the margarita, and this one is grandma, vegan grandma. Something I found out once I got here and I talked to the guys behind the counter is that the cheese on here is actually sunflower seed pizza that somebody makes like in their home and brings it over here. And the reason why it's expensive, they're like $6 a slice, is because the pizza by the pound is $12 a pound, which is pretty pricey. The, the cheese is $12 a pound. So we have two slices with the sunflower seed pizza, this one and the grandma one. And then one like just chock full of veggies, which I'm slightly intimidated by. Let's try the one I'm most excited for first. There we go. I took a little bite already for the photo, but whatever. I'm so funky. The cheese tastes good, but it has that slightly rubbery vegan cheese. Cake. So what do you rate this one? I would rate that one maybe a little bit. 7.5. I was going to say 7.5. So a whole family decided to have a get-together right behind us, which is fine. Um, what it means that we can't really film in there anymore. So we're going to go sit on these stairs over here. So instead of family noises, you guys are going to have to deal with bus and truck noises, which I feel is like slightly less distracting. So, all right, here we have still the grandma, vegan grandma pie, and the veggie pie. Do you want to try the veggie pie next? What's on there? Tomatoes, mushrooms, onions. Black olives. Black olives. This either is going to be really good or really gross. Wow. Wow good? It's good, but it reminds me of... Like bruschetta? No. Elementary <laughs> school? Um, I know you can't relate. But you guys probably can relate. Elementary school when they used to have those round pizzas with the cheese on it. The dough of this reminds me of that. Yeah, I don't think the dough is cooked all the way through. Or maybe it's just soggy from holding all the wet veggies. Maybe. Yeah, the dough might not be cooked all the way through. Mmm, mmm. It kind of tastes like bruschetta. Not so much pizza. If I had to rate it as a pizza, probably I'd give it a six and a half. But if I had to rate it as like a food, they had an eight. I like this. Mm -hmm. Partially because I really like black olives. We should have brought napkins. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I don't even, nice. yeah, I don't know what I would rate that. I would probably, I'll probably give it a 7.5 too. Hear that? I love a good crunchy crust. It has cooked red peppers. <laughs> 
like cooked red peppers. Otherwise, it's good though. It's my least favorite. Yeah? I give it a six. Wow. Honestly, I feel like I would give all of them like a 7.5. Really? This one too? Yeah, this one too. I don't think it's worse. I, I like it. Um, it just doesn't really pop for me. I'll tell you one thing about this place. It's really awesome to see an older Italian company like make the switch over to vegan pizza, at least like provide some options because some other companies are a lot more stubborn than that. Um, and I'm super excited to see that happening in, in that way. But the pizza is okay. It's good. It's not bad. I would eat it again, 100%. But I'm not going to be like, yo, let's go to Pizzeria Suprema, guys. Let's like take a half an hour trip and go. No. But if I was in the area and I was craving pizza, I would definitely get it. Hey, babe. Uh, where are we going next? We're going to two boats. Wow, well, that's really close to my face. Named for the geographical shapes of Italy and Louisiana. Was born on the, in the East Village at 37 Avenue A, which is the one we're going to. So we're going to the original Two Boots on June 24th, 1987. So this one's been open for a long time too. I wonder when they introduced the vegan pie. Like how many years has that been now? It's been out for a while, I think. They have locations all over New York and in California. I don't know where else. I think they have like 15 or 16 locations now. Um, so yeah, here we go. Actually, basically our stomping grounds. Roberto lives around here, so we go here decently often. The original two boots. So I have some like bootleg um, batteries in here. Hopefully it works. I my like actual Canon battery just died, and I have a really long trip tomorrow where I'm shooting a lot and. This is my test run to see if the batteries work for tomorrow. So, so far, so good. It actually does? Yes. This is the like original Two Boots vegan pie. It's called the V for Vegan. And then this is one of their newer slices. It's called the Vegan Mel Cooley. And to be honest, I'm not looking forward to this one because look what it has on it. Cooked red peppers. It's so white. That's a little better. You made me mad that it's like Let's start with the vegan Mel Cooley. Mel. Who is Mel Cooley? I forget. We explained it before. Wow, it's crunchy. Listen, listen, listen. Ready? Grew up eating two boots pizza specifically from this location, and the one thing that always stood out to me was the crust. It was the I love a crunchy crust. Makes two boots different from a lot of other places. All right, so this is a vegan Mel Cooley. We have, um, it looks like pesto, cooked peppers, sun-dried tomatoes, and it's like a white pie, so like, I think they use diet cheese here, so. <laughs> Yo, even with the cooked peppers, it's already better than the last place. <laughs> it's a review video, you gotta be honest. This is sun-dried tomatoes? Yeah, sun-dried tomatoes and red pepper. So yeah, this is a red pepper, but then they also have like sun-dried tomatoes. It brings out a different flavor. The non-disgusting flavor. Whatever I rated the last pizza, I think I was too generous because I was hungry. So we're going to take all the ratings from the last pizza and bring it down one. So the last pizzeria gets an average of a 6.5, not a 7.5. I got to the, the, the peppers. I'm good. I'm still going to give it a solid 6.75. Not quite a seven for me. Okay. But not like, I feel like a six is too rude because it's pretty good. So. Yeah. This one I would give, give it an eight. Really? Yeah. I'll give it an eight. That's why you get two opinions on this show. The Beeper Vegan is like, it might be my favorite pizza slice ever, but I haven't had a bunch of like vegan pizza at all on the same day so that I can like compare it. But I'm calling it now, this might be my favorite slice of the whole day. You see that? I mean, it's usually not soggy like this. It's just oily today for some reason, but um, it has a pesto, it has a green sauce, it has some mushrooms, some artichokes. It's not focusing on the... Wow, it's dripping. I don't know if you can see that. Ready? Ready, ready? 
Do you see that oil drip? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let, let me dab, dab a little bit. Dab, 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 dab. Let me just dab this pizza a little bit. <laughs> let me just dab this pizza a little bit. Hopefully yeah. that turned no, out that's well. A, that's as cold as we are. Yeah, I'm not getting a stab pizza. Alright. See, the top is still crunchy of the beef and vegan. Ready? That's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Even without the crunchy crust, it's so good. Nine. I give it a nine, straight up. Yeah. Seriously. The cheesiness is so, mmm, it's so, mmm, cheaper than the last place and way better. We brought bottled water because reduce, reuse, recycle, and all that shit. <laughs> two pizzas down, two to go. I'm getting kind of full. You're the pizza for and you get full? Yeah. My stomach isn't as big as yours. <laughs> Alright, so I went to look up some Vinny's Pizzeria facts and their website is suspended. I don't know if they forgot to pay their like website uh, host or whatever, but I can't get much information about them. But I'll let you know this. Vinny's Pizzeria is famous for its weird pizza creations. So in 2016, it came out with a pizza topped pizza flavor, which is, yes, a pizza slice topped with mini pizza slices. If you've ever seen that BuzzFeed article about the pizza that's served into in a pizza box made out of pizza, that's also Vinny's creation. It's a pizza, and then the pizza box, they serve it and it's made out of completely pizza. So, I don't know if they have any of those odd creations veganized, but if you ever heard those stories, that's where they came from. Vinny's Pizzeria. to pizzerias that offer things by the slice. So I know that uh, Double Screamers, wow. I know that Double Zero is also a super popular vegan pizza spot, but they're kind of fancy and they don't offer by the slice. You have to eat a whole pie. So we're going to like more New York City old fashioned pizza slice places and that's why I chose these four places. But if you know any other buy the slice pizza shops that we forgot to do on this journey, then please leave them down below and I think every year I'm gonna hit this up again because new places pop up, formulas change, you never know and you gotta stay updated on the best slice in New York City. I have been to Vinny's one time before but it was a few years ago and it was when I first went vegan, so I didn't really know what a vegan slice was supposed to taste like. So it was okay then, but I don't know now. Now I've had lots of vegan pizza, so we can revisit it and see how it is. Let's go. Hopefully everybody else like thinks it's too hot to have pizza and the place is empty. All right. All right, we're doing spicy chicken jalapeno and Macaroni with soy ground beef and hot sauce. Macaroni with soy ground beef and hot sauce. There was a few pineapple options at the bottom, which uh, was recommended to us, but but no, not happening. Of the four places we're going to today, three of them are both vegan and non-vegan slices. Oh yeah. Only one of them is purely vegan, and that one, that one we're going to after this one. Anything else for you guys? So the, apparently the oven ate our macaroni pizza. <laughs> yeah, that works. So the vibe in here is really chill, so I'm trying to keep my voice down. What? Yeah, I'm trying, trying to be quiet for once in my life. <laughs> I'm really excited for these slices because they look super interesting. Um, most of the macaroni one, the crust is crunchy. Oh wow, the pizza really, the oven really did eat. Nice. Yeah, this pizza is falling apart. I wish the macaroni was like mac and cheese instead of just plain macaroni. It looks like a Batman symbol. It does. 
it's interesting. It doesn't taste like pizza. No. No. Okay. The crust reminds me of a flour tortilla. Mm -hmm. When it's been crunchy. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to figure it out. A seven? Yeah, I would give it a seven. Um, so we're getting garlic knives because the oven ate part of our pizza. Can you go get it? Alright, we'll save that for the end. Bonus. You're so I'm a Clark. This tastes like I made pizza at home using pita bread and ketchup. And then I I go for my when I go But he's too shy to say it out loud. No, I mean, literally, we just heard. Five. Five, four and a half. Let me get one. You can't with the other. There you go. I put some, like, American slices on some, like, tomato sauce on some yeah, yeah, pockets of peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Whatever sauce we have left. <sighs> Very garlicky. I'm feeling like shit. I'm like three and a half pizza slices into the day and I definitely feel it coursing through my veins at this point. We've decided to walk to our last stop on the pizza tour. Uh, number one, because I don't want to look for parking again in Williamsburg. Number two, uh, because I guess I could burn some calories. I mean, at least a couple. So a bunch of screamers facts that I didn't know about because I guess I'm a new vegan in New York City is that Screamer's Pizzeria used to be Champs Jr., so like a smaller Champs, and they turned into Screamer's Pizzeria in 2016, and they're a partnership with Blackbird's Pizzeria. Yeah. What? Anyway, so this is the youngest pizzeria we're going to. It's also the only vegan pizzeria we're going to that's fully vegan in New York City. I'm really bad at these info segments. I'm just giving you some knowledge so you know where we're going. Let's go. We are here at our last stop, fully vegan pizza spot. Screamers. Okay, so we're definitely going to be filming outside for Screamers because it, it's always really loud in there. They have music in there also. It's somehow even hotter inside than it is outside today. So at least we get like a decent breeze out here, but I'm so excited to be at the final stop on the pizza tour because good God am I full of pizza right now. So we decided to go for one safe and one crazy. This is the pepperoni, which we've ordered before and we love. And this is something I've never seen before. It's a nacho pie, which can turn out great or disgusting. I'm not quite sure yet. How do you feel about the nacho pie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same? Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it soggy? No, I hate a soggy slice. Rate it. I think it's a nine. Really? Yeah, the pepperoni on that is just great. And the cheese, like, it's good. Like, is this great yeah. and good? Huh? It's great and good. Great and good. Great and great. Second to last slice I have to eat today. It's a little soggier than usual. Yeah. Nine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So good. It is good and great. Yeah, right? Mm hmm Those exact words. It's a little more of a classic pizza taste than anything we've tried so far today. Yeah. So now I don't know what sort of weird ass situation is going on with this. I don't know why Screamers decided to do this to the world. I'm interested to see how you're gonna pick it up. That's the thing, because I tried. You can't pick it up. Like, what is this? Struggle City. All right, I'm just gonna like tear a piece off. Or maybe just pick up the entire plate with it. Ah! I told you it was hot. I told you it was hot. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> So the crunch that you're missing because the bottom is soggy 
you get out of the nacho. Okay, so it compensates. For yes. That. I don't hate that. I probably wouldn't order it again because it's just a lot. It's insane. But the flavor is good. Like an eight. Eight? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I mean? <laughs> it's good though. But it tastes good. Yeah. It tastes like nachos, cheese, but jalapeno. Yeah. Mm hmm And beans. Did you get some oh, beans? Cool. Yeah. I got beans, yeah. I have corn. Nice. I flipped the floppy bottom onto the top, which is like a giant ass crust for some reason. And now it's kind of like a burrito. Like look at all this filling. And now we just stuff it inside the burrito. I'm just gonna go for it. Are you ready? Go for it. Oh my god, your face is so saucy. Your face is so saucy. It's like a pizza burrito. It felt good to bite haphazardly into that. I think it tasted better because of it. doing it so much more cleanly. Good, huh? Yeah. That was really good. Rebecca, you're in a totally different area with different hair and a different shirt on. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. It was too hot. I felt like too much shit. Now we're back at Roberto's house. I laid in front of the air condition for a while. It's delightful. Now I can recap you on our pizza adventure. If you had to eat one slice, what was your top slice that you had today? V for vegan from Two Worlds. Okay. If you had to rate your top pizzeria, just rate it, don't ask questions. What's your top pizzeria for today? Uh, Screamers. Okay, I'd have to agree. I think the best slice we had all right, my camera just died. It's on its third battery for the day. I have to agree with Roberto. I think the best slice we had today was probably the V for Vegan from Two Boots Pizzeria. But I also really enjoyed the pepperoni pizza from Screamers. They are kind of on the same level for me. I do enjoy that Screamers has a lot of options, but Two Boots Pizza is just really up there. They really do a good job. Vinny is really disappointed. I had eaten there before and I thought it was fine. And then when I went to go eat there this time, it was actually kind of not okay. Like, the one pizza tasted like ketchup on pita bread, and then the other pizza tasted like dry macaroni. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't, like, if I was in the area, I'd probably, like, find another place to eat. Like, I'd be like, oh, we could probably find some sushi somewhere. I mean, Screamers is only ten minutes away from Vinny, so... That yeah. would probably be the top option, be literally. Yeah, if I was ever in the area, I would walk 10 more minutes to Screamer. Pizzeria Suprema, if I was in the area, I would eat there, but I wouldn't travel to go eat there, if that makes sense. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm glad you enjoyed that. That was the lowdown on the top pizza by the slice, New York City pizzerias that we could find. If we missed any other Pizza by the Slice places, then please let me know down below so we can revisit them on our next pizza tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up because I feel really sick right now from all the grease. <laughs> but we needed a definitive list of all the vegan Pizza by the Slice places and I was here to provide that for you. So. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to see me on Instagram, I have a lovely community there and I post almost daily. Then I'll put my Instagram right here. It's like the same as my YouTube channel, so like I don't know why I always like post it separately, but if you want to follow my lovely my lovely my lovely boyfriend on Instagram, he's tatted vegan. I'm sure you know him already, but I'll put his right here. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yes. Yeah, Other than feeling ill and the fact that it's like 500,000 degrees outside. I have the itis. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna nap now. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye! <laughs>